What is comparative advantage? In the 19th century, David Ricardo developed a theory of international trade explaining how to increase a country's wealth. The starting point of his theory is that the economic system of all countries must allow for the free circulation of goods and services by eliminating customs duties and everything that can hinder trade. This is called a free trade system. Next, each country specializes in producing the goods for which it is the most productive, i.e. where it has the best ratio between its labor time and its quantity produced. For example, in Portugal, a piece of cloth requires the annual labor of 90 people. And a barrel of wine, the annual labor of 80 people. In England, a piece of cloth requires the annual labor of 100 people and a barrel of wine the annual labor of 120 people. Portugal is therefore more productive in both fields. It has an absolute advantage over England. However, since its productivity gap is more significant in the field of wine, since 40 fewer people are necessary to produce a barrel, this is the field in which it should specialize. We say that it benefits from a comparative advantage. As for England, if its productivity is lower than that of other countries, it will have to specialize in producing the goods for which it is the least bad in comparison to other countries, that is, here in cloth production. Indeed, that is where the productivity gap is the least large, since it needs 10 people more to produce a piece of cloth. So it benefits from a comparative advantage in this field. If every country specializes in the field where it is the most productive, compared to other countries, the global market will be able to benefit from goods at the most attractive prices possible. Indeed, according to Ricardo, the value of a good depends on the amount of labor required for its production. We call this labor value. For this reason, the lower the number of labor hours to produce the good is, the lower its production cost is, and therefore the more attractive its price is. For Ricardo, therefore, it's by specializing in producing what it can do the best and by participating in international trade that a country will be able to increase its wealth.